Hello everyone. I figured I'd make a video on bug hunting in Palea. I find it very interesting as the skill doesn't get enough attention. To a degree to people it's kind of lackluster while chasing bugs around not really knowing what they do or what they're used for. They do have various uses from displaying them in your cases or even using them as fertilizer which they're really useful for and or actually using them for buzzy jars which in this video you'll notice in the top left I have an active buff which is the buzzy jar. It requires three common butterflies, two light bulbs, and two silk thread. And you're gonna get that by doing bugs. I mean, it takes a couple of minutes to mine over 100 stone, put that in and turn that into glass panes, and then to convert that into light bulbs. All you're really working with then is time. So I feel that these are highly effective. So please, if you are doing bug hunting, be sure to use buzzy jars. It is massively beneficial if you're going to start doing this. And it doesn't require a lot of resources because everything you do, you'll get from doing bug hunting. So I think personally that's worth it. There are some pros and cons with this skill that I have noticed. If you're trying to go in and get money out of this, if you're trying to be optimal and efficient and min-max, this is probably not the way to do it for gold. It seems that it's a decent amount. I mean, I think we made, I think it was 3,000 gold. And that's really not a lot. But to say the least, issues did arise while we were hunting together. But I'll get into that to a moment. The cool thing about this, if you are actually tracking bugs together, you can continue to do foraging along the way. And you have a chance to spawn a rare bug out of whatever you pick up. Whether it be mushrooms, sweet leaves, briar leaves, anything that you can pick up and interact with. Same thing goes for mining too. If you're mining, you have a chance to actually get like a centipede spawn and then you can all catch it together. And you could do that in rotation. But my issue is a lot of the time in Bahari Bay is actually the terrain, which poses to be the biggest problem for me and the people I was tracking bugs with. You'll get caught on things. The locations will be disrupted a lot of the time. And you'll see that coming up here in a moment. Whenever we're trying to locate these bugs, you actually can't get to their destination. They're cut off. And the issues that we had is that most of the bugs are spawning near the mine or they're spawning high up and they're locked behind terrain like some of these bugs are like under the mine shaft or on top of the mine shaft or just in weird crevices and places that you can't actually catch them so you're going to be wasting a good portion of your time with your buzzy jar just trying to find these and that's my only complaint really is not being able to access these locations because yes your gold would go up Per hour it would be far better than what I'm stating right now but that's currently my only issue is they have to fix some of the bug spawns and hopefully I can bring that to their attention here with this video because it was a bit it was a bit annoying to get locked in everything and not be able to track them effectively because when you're hunting together you really don't want to have that issue yes you're gonna have to climb and, and, and glide to places that are out of your way but at least they would be accessible as, a, as instead of this that they're just locked behind everything it's not really all that great and you can see wherever I'm looking, I can't access them. But I think overall, bug hunting is a pretty interesting and fun skill. And it does also have other things going for it, like honey lures and stuff, which I haven't showed in this video, which I might do in the next one. But again, the only good place to hunt for bugs, rare bugs, to get silk, which is what you're truly after. Because I think at the end of this, we pulled maybe 50 silk in 30 minutes. Now, that's not bad, honestly. I think that's a decent amount of silk for the time put in. Because if you're looking without these buzzy jars, it takes a it takes it takes a good good amount of time to actually find the rare bugs. I mean, you're looking for like purple crickets and like monarch butterflies and stuff like that or whatever they're called. It is very tedious and annoying to look for them. So I would recommend buzzy jars. I think that they are one of the most essential tools for the skill in the game. Like for me, I didn't feel like I needed the tuning fork or any of like the locators for fishing or anything like that. I felt like that was kind of like just defeated the purpose. But the last thing I want to say is that I would not recommend using buzzy jars or tracking rare bugs in Kilima Village only because there's really nothing there but some of the fire dragonflies at night, which are near Kilima Fields. And there's probably about two spawns and they're very rare. So if you do plan to do bug hunting, I would very much so recommend that you're doing this in Bahari Bay as it seems to be the best place for it. While it does come with its issues, community bug hunting together and tracking with buzzy jars is probably going to be your best bet. I had a lot of fun with it. I think I'll continue to do more bug events as it's actually quite interactive. It is like cooking in a way and you're tracking and then using honey lures in certain areas and stuff like that. It can actually be quite fun and I think it's good for a whole group of people. With that being said, I just wanted to leave this video with you and thank you for your continued support by watching the videos. It's helping the algorithm. I'm very new to this in regards to um, making YouTube videos as I'm learning. It's a process, but nonetheless, thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video.